10 years this year. So well, it's great. I've been a steel player. It's my yeah. it's kind of my dream to have a band like this. So, yeah, no, I'm just surprised that it's that it's kept rolling and, and kept productive. It's great every year. It's a little bit better. So, <laughs> um, I hope we can just continue to make records each year. I think that's more important than uh, you know than making an impact or being popular or having a you know radio hit or anything. I just you know I just want to be able to make a, a record next year. <laughs> Well, I'm sure some people find it boring and would rather have a, have a <laughs> the great freedom with instrumental stuff is that it's, it means something to you, it might mean something else to me, and, you know, I try never to explain what I think about songs or my intent because it, uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, I'm Mike. Yeah. I know. Nice to meet you. <laughs> with Mike and I, I mean, certainly more of a partnership. I, I, I don't guess I would think about doing it without him. Our, our only problem is that he lives in Los Angeles and I live in Austin so we just don't we don't see each other that much. Well, I do think of my daughter a lot and what kind of the father could I offer her. Before she was born I tape recorded the uh, little Doppler of her heartbeat while she was still in the, in the womb. I didn't realize until I had a child that, well, there's, you know, there's, it's not, uh, I think it, it, you become less selfish and you don't think about yourself and you think about, well, how am I projecting to other people? How am I, would, would she be proud of me? I like leaving the microphones on and if it records the, you know, the truck driving by or the, you know, I think it's all, it's all for a reason. You don't even know what's going to happen and then all of a sudden at some point the record ties itself up and you realize, well, hey, it's done. And so it's truly an organic process. Actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And certainly try to leave it that way because it's it's not. So I would certainly be bored with it if I if it was too calculated. <laughs> you know, and I think that's the freedom with the band is we're never going to have a radio hit. We're never going to you know. So why not do why not experiment and do what we want. playing with Giant Sand because I was a fan of the band before and so I would say, well, you know, I want to hear the songs this way because essentially I felt like a, you know, a fan that got to sit on stage with them and hear the songs and it would frustrate me to, you know, how come we never play this song you know, the same way twice? How come, you know, why don't we get a set list together and, and polish things up? And then I realized that the, uh, you know, the, the magic that happens when you when you're trying different things, it, it makes it so much better than any rehearsed set that you could pull off and, and certainly after you know after playing 24 shows in a row that polished set starts to sound you know, a little too polished <laughs> but I really enjoyed it last time we were here and walked around a lot and we spend so much of our time in Germany and so we see the same the same stuff and it's, you know, Brussels is a bit more interesting <laughs> but I like those lamps that we walked by I like anything with glass and light bulbs. Thank you.